And it's Loki Lockdown, and we back with another video, and I'm here to expose another possible potential fight that is might be on that 300 card that there has been a lot of teasing about recently, and you know, in the last couple of days, Hamzat versus Izzy Adesanya. I feel like this is a very interesting fight, a very interesting matchup, and a lot of people seem to think that you know, Hamzat is gonna beat the shit out of Izzy, and you know, Izzy's washed and this and that. But look, there's a lot of ways this fight can go, and there's a lot of things that I have to explain to you for you to understand that that's not gonna likely be the scenario that we're in. Hopefully, at least. So look, for one, Izzy Adesanya has some incredible fucking takedown defense. I mean, he doesn't get taken down off. Let's be realistic, and he's not small. He's not going to be as small as the fucking other guys that, you know, Hamza has fought. He hasn't fought anybody as big as him, ever. Who is he fighting that's realistically his size? Nobody. Nobody is fucking Hamza's size that he's fought. Except for, like, fucking G. Lee Yang. But, like, they're not elite level guys that are his size. Um, so, man, look. I'm saying that his takedown defense is, is like, very fucking solid. You know, fighting Derek Brunson and Marvin Vittori and... It's a couple other guys, and you know, everybody trying to take him down, and he's long, slinky. Those guys are extremely hard to take down. Plus, he's going to be exactly the same size or a little bit bigger or taller than I'm um, at. So, that's going to be another thing. I think he has a longer reach. He definitely, no, he definitely has a longer reach to Hamzat. He has the better striking, clearly. The, you know, more well rounded, I guess, not well rounded, the, the better striking IQ, for sure. But Hamzat is very young, hungry. He has an extremely hard, you know, wrestling base. And his wrestling is super strong. His grappling is very good. He has some solid jiu-jitsu. He's able to drown most people out for the first two rounds, at least. And I know that the first round of this fight will be absolute hell for Izzy because he will wrestle fucking for the first round. Or at least try to. I wonder how Izzy's takedown defense is going to hold up. But he has, you know, he has some solid-ass takedown defense. But Hamzat is also not like anybody else when it comes to this wrestling shit. He's a big ass Dagestani clone. We haven't seen one this large before. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to see what's going to happen. Is he going to ragdoll Izzy in the first round? Is he going to submit Izzy in the first round? That that's the that's the biggest danger. The biggest danger for Izzy comes in those first two rounds. Will he ragdoll him, submit him, or will he ground and pound him? What will happen if Izzy can make it out these first two rounds and it's a five round fight? I think Izzy wins this fight. Izzy is very, very, very slick. And, you know, he, uh, Hamzat hasn't fought any super elite level strikers. Not at all. If you think Kamar Usman is an elite level striker, you might be on... I mean, he's not, he's not bad. I would, I would, actually, I wouldn't even blame you for thinking that. But he's not. He's a wrestler. And he's well-rounded. He's not an elite striker. He's a well-rounded fighter. That's what he is. And he makes it look good. But Izzy is an elite level striker. An elite level striker. An elite level striker. Let me let me just go ahead and say that one more time. An elite level striker. And Hamza's striking is not the best in the world. He was getting boxed up by a shorter, stubbier, slower Kamara Usman. Which is crazy. At 185. Which Kamara has never fought it that week. And I'm not taking shit away from him. Because I'm, I'm, I'm personally a fan of Hamza. I like the way he fights. He's actually, you know, seems like a cool guy off camera. Uh, I feel like he's going to go places. He's going to go very far. But I'm not just going to pretend like Izzy's just going to get smashed. Even though I don't like... I'm not going to say I don't like Izzy. I do like Izzy. Izzy, Izzy is pretty fucking tough. It's just uh, sometimes he does a lot of shit that just make me like, bro, what is wrong with this nigga? But at the same time, bro, life is life, bro. Everybody got their own. But this man, yo, look. So, I really feel like... Izzy, this, this fight favors Izzy if it's five rounds. Honestly, it favors Izzy very, very heavily if this shit is five rounds. But... If it doesn't go five rounds, or if it's a three-round fight, I favor Hamza. Hamza will wrestle fucking, or try, or at least, you know, gain some control time or something. And I know Izzy's going to get tired of that shit. Um, with the repertoire of, like, weapons that Izzy has on feet, and the, you know, the elite level and understanding of just, you know, overall MMA that he has, I feel like he can get this shit done. I feel like it's a 55-45 split I favor Izzy in this fight honestly but if the fight no no matter of fact I favor Izzy in this fight if it goes five rounds if the fight is three rounds I favor Hamza and it's a 55 45 either way so with that being said man like comment subscribe let me know what y'all want to see next man and we all done